Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerome Fit Man coming at you with a brand new vid for the week, man. Uh, something I'm gonna talk about: some bicep development, in particular, the outer head bicep development. So I'm gonna show you a few tips on that. And as I work out and train, man, who knows? I'm gonna show you more a few tips on some other things. Thank you guys for your support on the programs. Don't forget coaching services on www.jeronfitcoaching.com. Programs at the website to get looking like an action figure and weight loss programs. And real soon, my hard gainer program will be out, man. Again, thank y'all for y'all support, man. Don't forget to get y'all Pump Chaser gear. You know what I'm saying, pumpchasers.com. Use the discount code, Jeroja, Roger, Roger, Ron Fit. You feel me? Oh, it's hugging too, look at that, slim and fit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, now I know I said, well, I'll show you a bicep tip, right? But here's a part of the bicep tip. A good way to warm up your biceps will use the bent over row. Gets both biceps warmed up and it gets the muscles surrounding the bicep also warmed up. So that's why I'm doing that first. Especially when it comes to warming up too, man. Don't cheat yourself. All right, y'all. First, after that warm up, nice little warm up set, the first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be the reverse curl. We're gonna do it right here, boom, with the cambered bar, all right? Nice and slow, squeeze hard at the top, release down slowly. Squeeze hard at the top, resist, release down slowly. Remember that, it's gonna hit that outer head of that bicep, the one you see all the time. Don't worry, what's that pump that's going? The top coming off.
Hey, hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerome Fit Man. Just dropping some gems on you guys for today. Just finished my little workout. Nothing too intense. Just wanted to talk to you guys, man. I hear the uh, the term the bulking season and whatnot going on, man. So let me fix this camera here, man. Let's get shit situated proper. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerome Fit Man coming to you this lovely day today, man. And uh, you know the uh getting big season upon us well actually man you should really be trying to put on size and muscle all the time you know what i'm saying so it shouldn't be always summertime it's winter time blah 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 it's an all year thing man so you know what i mean so i don't know so just drop that mentality you know what i mean now let's talk about muscle gain and let's bulking up and getting thick and getting that proper muscle man let's talk about this you know what i mean it's been talking about weight loss lately new weight loss program out on the website 50 to 100 pounds if you need to lose a lot of weight that is the program for you just did the macros for the previous video so if you need the macros get that on the previous video all right now just get to the nitty-gritty of it man bulking does not mean getting fat all right i see some people like oh i put on 10 pounds this week i put on 20 pounds since i did this improper man you're putting stress on your body you're going to eventually cause yourself heart health issues eventually if you're young cool eventually you're gonna cause yourself some health issues if you're putting any excessive weight gain it's bad whether it's natural you know what i mean enhanced whatever if you're putting on 10 pounds in a week that is no bueno you're doing stress on your body so if you did a cut or whatever and all of a sudden after your show you blew up 25 30 pounds that mean you are not in shape you put undue stress on your body and you've done metabolic damage most likely to your body so that's the m proper way to cut uh, y'all seeing these videos i'm posting these pictures man i've been leaning for about what four weeks now no stress y'all see woo, energy still good still hype still feeling good so obviously if i can do it i'm not special that's not the way to go and people i'm training that's how we are doing it you know what i'm saying all this zombie face ugh, complaining about what you eat nasty pictures of your food that's not the way to get it man strength is the key you need to build your strength up get strong stop being weak in the gym man i see some of y'all dudes i some of y'all workouts and stuff y'all talk about some of the food y'all post is a disrespect to bodybuilding it's soft you know what i mean Arnold Schwarzenegger, all of these cats wasn't eating no dumb uh, lettuce and broccolis and all this stupid stuff, man. Beef steak. You got to get big. Push yourself. You got to enhance your strength, man. All this 20 rep set. That stuff's for suckers, man. You know what I mean? Load that bar up. Focus on your strength. The goal should be for a natural lifter, you can build 0.25 pounds of muscle per week. Or some people, 0.50, man. That translates to one to two pounds of muscle a month, all right? If you are gaining more than one to two pounds per week, you're getting fat and you're not doing anything. And if you think so, like I said, we always meet up at the gym and I'll simply say, hey man, how much were you lifting two years ago? Bench, squat, whatever, right? Guaranteed your numbers have not improved, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll show you a picture of yourself and I'll face you with the facts. You look the same, you know what I mean? That's not how it works. The only way, the only way to get improvement as a natural lifter is to maintain a relatively lean physique. Let me say this again. The only way to make gains, as in, and let me, let me explain what I'm saying. Gains, this is gains. Don't be like, oh, I was 200 pounds and I lost 175 pounds. No, that's not gains. That's calling losing weight and trying to get in shape. That's not gains, all right? Gains is, look, look at my muscles. They were small. Now look at them. They're big. Those are gains, all right? Show me the gains. I want to see them, man. Everybody looks the same. If you bulk and get fat, you look the same, period. End of story, you know what I mean? The time picture might be different, the filter might be different, but you look the same. You can't fool me, right? The only way to build muscle and enhance your physique as a natural lifter is to stay relatively lean and focus on your strength. There is no, no segue about it. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. There is no in between. There is no, oh, this works for this person. Oh, this works for that person. No. I've seen all the pictures. I've seen all the stuff, man. I've seen people, you look like zombies, right? You starve yourself. You look like zombies. Your muscles are flat. You don't look good. You know what I'm saying? And then once you start eating again, you gain all the way back. It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? I see the pictures. People looking like zombies, face all sunken in. Ugh. Do a show or whatever. 
then 32 two weeks later you look like a, a puffer fish that's not health and wellness and that's not what we represent man and like i said if you do shows you will lose to somebody like me guaranteed who's been lean all year round i'm gonna show up to the show cut water and you're gonna lose especially natural that's not how it works man you will lose unless you're doing some rinky dink show where nobody's at you will lose guaranteed the ultimate thing for a natural lifter is strength your strength is what makes your workout if you're benching 145 you never have no big chest that's dumb squat one plate you never have a big chest doing cable flies you never have a big chest not doing pull-ups no back you see what i'm saying there are certain fundamental things that just apply strength is the end all be all for natural lifters now if you enhance yeah blah blah you can lift some baby weights and get you know some size because all you're doing is stimulating the muscles because you have outside things that you're injecting into your body that will help you grow your muscles if you do not have outside things that you're injecting into your body i got uh, some good or bad news for you you're gonna have to be strong period and if somebody is stronger than you they have more muscle than you Period. End of story. Muscle size, muscle strength is relative. Why are my arms big as shit? Because they're strong as shit. Why is my back big? Because it's strong. Why is my chest big? Because it's strong. Get what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now, you know, that's all I'm trying to say to you guys. I'm not trying to say you know wolf tickets, nothing like that. I want you to have an understanding that when you come to me, if you are not in shape, first things first, you will get in shape. Period. End of story. All of that. All this, oh, we need to cut my mat. Now, listen, shut up. I'm not even going to hear that, man. You need to train and get in shape. That is the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to see what you can and what you can't do. What's the worst thing that you can't, or, 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 or what's the thing you're not good at? And that's what we're going to focus on. If you're not doing pull ups, we're going to be doing pull ups. If you're not doing squats, we're going to be doing squats. Whatever it is that you are not doing that is limiting your physique and you to get to where you need to be, that is what we will be doing. I don't play no games. When it is coming to this coaching and training, man. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to perform in that gym. Your performance makes it relative to how you look. And that's why I'm the best built natty dude in the game all year round. Period, man. And I stand on that on a stack of Bibles, man. Nobody in the natural community looks the way I do all year round. Period, man. Nobody's as strong as me in the natural community. As lean as I am. At my leanness. I'm significantly stronger than everybody else. Significantly stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, be real talk. At my body weight, I can outlift somebody 20 pounds heavier than me. Easily. And it does with the total body training, staying lean year round, actually building muscle, building strength, a foundation built on strength. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you will, all the videos I've ever done on YouTube, you know what I mean? I'm always the smallest person in the video. Always. Every time. But I've never been outlifted. Ever. You've never seen the weight get dropped for me. You know what I mean? Oh, let's take this 45 off because drawn, you know, fit is on is up next. Negative, man. Matter of fact, there's videos where people ask me to take a plate off, and I say negative, Ghost Rider. Negative! So like I said, I'm just happy to be leading the way, man. Thank you all for signing up, man. I'm, like I said, I'm always humble when people see my train of thought and they see I'm not trying to sell y'all no flex. Open your minds, man. Like I said, I'm doing these things for you guys, man, because I wish there was somebody with a YouTube channel when I was coming up to steer me in the right direction so I wouldn't make mistakes and just simply be doing things that don't work. You know what I mean? Like I said, if y'all want to stay lean all year round and look good, you know, and you don't mind training and busting your ass in the gym. You don't want to mess around in the gym. You're not trying to dick around and just take pictures on Instagram and, oh, look at me, blah, blah, blah. Do a bunch of fake stuff. If you really want to get in shape and you're a serious individual with health and fitness, man, holler at me. If you guys are just fanboys, you know what I mean, just want to blah, 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 don't want to train, you know, watch the videos, whatever, man. But that's not what I want. I want people who are really into training, who are really trying to push their physiques to the next level and get to the next level with fitness. I, mean, I don't care about, you know, oh, you buying this and that. Nah, man, let's get in shape. You know, the reason I stay in shape, you know, too, is because I'm a leader. I'm a leader of this full body movement. And as the leader of the movement, I have to look the best. I can't be like, oh, yeah, full body, full body. I look like a bag of donuts. That's stupid. You feel me? I have to look good because that's what I'm trying to promote. I'm trying to show you guys that you can look good all year round. You can always look good. You can look good in the club, in the gym, all year round. Just because it's wintertime, you know what I mean? You don't got to make, you know. I mean, what is happening? Look right now. I got the cuts ready to See what I'm saying? I'm ch chilling in the gym right now. You know what I mean? Ready to rock and roll. Think of it like this, all right? 
a fitness magazine or a fitness person or whatever sees my pictures on Instagram or whatever, watches one of my videos, I'm like, man, you know what? I want to get that drawn fit guy in here for a photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? Me. They call my phone. What if my phone rang right now? Hello? What's up? Man's health. Can I do a photo, photo shoot in a week? Psh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. See what I'm saying? Ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. You need Somebody wants you to do a gym meetup. What you got to go? Get in shape? Get ready? Come on, man. That's money out your pocket, man. That's, that's time wasted. If y'all serious about this business, man, you should be ready at all times, man. If you a fighter, you need to be in shape at all times. You feel what I'm saying? If you a competitor, bodybuilder, you need to be in shape at all times. If you a fighter or something like that, and you're not in shape at all times, man, this, it, you're not going to make it. Eventually, it's going to catch up to you. Guaranteed. It happens to everybody. If you're a bodybuilder and you're not in shape all year round, it's going to catch up to you. Eventually, you're going to end up staying fat. Seriously, I've seen it happen all the time. There's nobody that I've come up with or I've done that has done other types of training or whatever that looks good. Seriously, all these guys are old and look like a bag of, bag of potatoes. Nobody looks good. You see what I'm saying? I'm in that looking good all year round, staying, keeping your body tight, man. That is so important. I'm telling you guys, it's not, it's difficult in the training, man, because you got to learn to train. You got to push yourself. You got to get out of this fuck boy mentality of posing. Stop being a poser. You know what I'm saying? These dudes are posing, people faking on the gram like they training hard. Don't be that dude. Really, put your hood on. You know what I'm saying? You get the gym, put your hood on, put your music in your ears, man, and get to work. Do something for real. Somebody should walk up to you in the gym and give you the head on and let you know you're doing it for real. You know what I'm saying? But this is your boy, Jerome Fit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. Uh, like I said, programs on the website, coaching on the website, in-person training. Don't be scared. If you want to get pushed and challenged, man, that's what I'm here for, man. Push your body to the limits. Make you look good all year round. You know what I mean? That's what I'm promoting. And that's why we are on the rise. Gathering followers. Gaining momentum. Gaining speed. Because people see the truth, man. You can't deny the truth. Look at the neck. Look at the neck. Look at the neck. Look at the neck. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Look, man. And this is another thing that I, I would like to always stress with you guys, man. Well, let me show y'all something, man. My bulking and cutting and all that stuff is not a good idea. Look at this, my skin. Y'all see my skin? Do y'all ever notice how tight and my skin is? How clear my skin always is? You see what I'm saying? I don't have no bumps and acne and none of that stuff on my skin. How my skin is like, you know what I mean? I don't have blemishes on my skin. That comes from keeping my body tight. Tight. My skin stays tight. It's tight. When you blow up, shrink, blow up, shrink, your body, your skin looks weird. Now, that's why a lot of... Like, you look at a lot of, of those enhanced competitors, man. You look at their skin. Their skin looks weird. Like, stretched out. Like, this is, they can't. It's not. Their skin is not thin. And that comes from blowing up and shrinking down. Blowing up, shrinking down. Eventually, the skin, as you get a little older, will lose its elasticity. And eventually, you will never, ever truly be able to get lean. So that's why when you see me, when I stand next to people, I look so li much leaner than they do because my skin is tight. I don't have to. Look, see how tight my skin looks on my face? Like, you know what I mean? People never guess my age. I can tell y'all I was 22. I can start my YouTube channel today. I can start a YouTube channel. I'm 22. Y'all had to do a, a, a Trump fact check on me. Y'all had to pull an Obama check his birth certificate because I couldn't pass for 22. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't pass for a guy in my late 20s, early 20s. Physically, physically wise, yeah. So keep that in mind, man. This is your boy, Jerron Fit. Thank y'all for your support. Don't forget, hit the website. Grab the programs, man. Show some support and love. Like I said, all this stuff is to help you guys, man. And it's, uh, like I said, it's the real deal, you know, put together by somebody with the proper mindset to help you get to where you need to be. Thank y'all for y'all support, man. Like I said, doing more of content. Enjoying myself doing this YouTube. Getting more, having more fun with this, man. Uh, I had to have more fun. I wanted to be serious, you know what I'm saying, because it's a serious topic, but I got to have more fun to keep you guys entertained. So hopefully, like, even though I'm covering topics that are not necessarily entertaining, hopefully I'm making these things entertaining for you to enjoy. And like I said, bring some, uh, you know, entertainment to the industry, because like I said, the stuff that we talk about is dry and stale. So here is my attempt to not make it that. Thank y'all for your support. It's your boy, Jerome Fit, and I'm out.